They can't believe it. Government power for move me. My son refugee in a my own country. But a long, long time, me live here so can't go away. Them really ten poor people be fool. Them really ten poor people be fool. Oh, in the Savannah land, where you get that system you're from. Earlier this month, Vice Cartel was arrested on a number of alleged crimes. The charges are two murders, conspiracy to commit murder, possession of an illegal firearm, and marijuana possession. He appeared in court last week to appeal for bail, but was unable to, as the defense had not received documents pertaining to a witness's statement. His new court date was then set to today, the 26th of October. So we at Just Bus decided to go to the Halfway Tree Residence Magistrate Court to see for ourselves the progress of his case and what would be the outcome of his appeal in light of the plethora of charges. Within moments of our arrival at the courthouse, we were greeted by fans and well-wishers showing their undying support for the teacher. <laughs> As we set out to see what information we could gather, a confident Tom Tavares Finson, one of Vibes Cartel's highly esteemed attorneys, was spotted entering the courtroom. As the day progressed, we spoke to some of the supporters to get their views on the teacher's situation. after a long wait in a sun that seemed to be relentless at times christopher Finson, another member of vibes cartel's legal counsel finally emerged to address the media on the results of Carter's bail appeal. Well, we want to know, the last time you told us that you couldn't file for a bail application because you didn't get, have all the documents, what happened today? A bail application has been made on behalf of Mr. Palmer as it relates specifically to the murder of Barrington Burton. As it is now, the judge has, res re um, the judge has reserved her ruling as it relates to that bail application and we will hear next week, Wednesday, when we're back in court again for that matter, what her position on bail is. That's all I have. What about the other matter though? He'll be back on Monday for that matter. So there you have it. A bail application was made for one of the murder charges, but the judge did not make a decision to grant bail or not. So Carter is still remanded until his new court date, which is next week Wednesday, the 2nd of November. He is also set to appear in court next week Monday for other related charges. So check us out on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for more updates. And check out our website at www.justbus.tv.